what's going on everybody i'm back again with another video and i'm today in makati mostly in the local area but i'm going to be hitting the street all the way towards the end and make it to the main road which is ayala avenue and then we're going to see all the high rise all the skyscrapers going on in makati and take you guys with me so without further ado join me so this road over here is called kamagong road and i'm staying around here for the day i stay here the first time i ever came to the philippines it's mostly like a local area when a lot of people think about Marcata, they mostly think about the skyscrapers, you know, malls and everything, but they also have like local neighborhoods like this. And I like this area, you know, they got like different barangays. So I'm going to walk all the way towards the end. I was looking at the map. It doesn't look far, but I'm sure it's way farther than what it looks like on the map. Also, another thing that's against me is it's been raining on and off. So hopefully the rain doesn't catch me while I'm on my way to make this video out. I'm not going to show you what's happening ahead of me. So I'm not sure if you can see at the end, but you see the high rise buildings. Tall buildings that's going on, but then the vibes are really going to change once I start making it to Ayala Avenue. A couple of restaurants right here. And a lot of foreigners, when they come to Manila, they stay between here, Makati and BGC area. I guess because it has like everything all the happening vibes going on over here so but I gotta watch my step one thing about the streets here is that they're not really level so you just gotta keep an eye on where you walk so you start seeing the highways buildings and I think this is the beginning of Ayala Avenue so it's not really that far from the map I thought it was gonna be a little bit further but I guess not maybe I'm walking too fast so this might be the beginning of Ayala Avenue right here you can start seeing how the vibe changes there's actually a police station to my right one thing, like I said, since it rained, the difference about here versus the state is that a lot of streets that get flooded. But even in New York City, it's not really a city that's prepared for rain. And even for a little bit of a drops, it gets like uh, flooded. But now I just gotta watch my step over here. You can start seeing how we start getting the skyscrapers. I think I gotta walk straight. And then you're gonna see how the vibes start changing. It's so all like hotels, high-rise condos right here. So here's where the world's gonna start changing. And you can start seeing that it's literally covered with skyscrapers. Then to my left, we got like a water fountain over here. I just gotta watch when I cross the streets. So it could get a little bit more intense, but I'm gonna show you the street scene ahead of me. But the good thing about the street is they got this ceiling over here. So if it rains, I guess it protects you from the rain. And then the difference about this district over here is that you really don't see uh, tricycles. That happens also in BGC, but versus BGC, this is more like a local vibe. Even though it's developed, you can still see the jeepneys and a lot of barangays happening around here. Like BGC is mostly more like Western Standard developed. But I'm gonna walk ahead and see what's going on. One of the things that make Makati unique are like the malls like this. Also another thing that's different is they got like this underpasses that you go underneath and cross the street to the other side. But look at this skyscrapers right here, wow. I'm a huge fan of urban, urban art. And now I'm getting distracted without remembering I gotta take that underpass to make it to the other side of the street. Maybe there's another way I can make it over here, so let's figure it out. And keep in mind, Metro Manila comprises of 60 municipalities. This is one of the municipalities of Manila. And I'm going on the underpass, and hopefully it'll take me to the other side of the road. This is the underpass that you can see, pretty modern. It literally looks like if you're heading towards a uh, train station. And this one will take it to the other side of Ayala Avenue. Then we make it on top again to the road, to the street level. And I made it back again to the street level. So we continue walking the street right here in Ayala. Like I said, I passed the street many times by, grab taxi cab, but I never walked like the whole length of Ayala Avenue, so now I'm walking it. You can see how beautiful it is, impeccable, and how they put the middle of the street with palm trees, which is beautiful, surrounded by some really tall skyscrapers. So keep in mind, it's kind of like rush shower, so a lot of people are getting off of work, so you might see like a lot of crowds right here, waiting to catch probably the bus or the jeepney and to get into their, their neighborhood, so barangay, whatever you want to call it. But I'm probably gonna walk towards the park and merge into some of the regular streets to see what it looks like. Pretty busy here. You can see everybody waiting in line. The thing is there's not really much subway options in Manila, but I heard they're, build, they're building a subway train that's gonna connect you, I think from Valenzuela, I'm not sure if it goes to Cavite, 
or near Terminal 3 in the airport, but it's much more needed for the city, you know. This is a massive city, one of the most densely populated cities in the whole world, Manila. Metro Manila, I guess. I know some people get offended when I say Manila, but Metro Manila in total, with millions of people living around here. Back again, you know, under, under passing, but I gotta make it towards the other side of Ayala and walk into some of the regular streets to see what's going on. Because it's gonna be interesting, there's like a local park, but let me show you this under passage. So they put like street art over here and they keep it decorated, pretty beautiful. And a lot of people getting off of work. Today is Wednesday, so pretty good to see what's going on. And I'm just gonna head upstairs a road and back again off to the street level. Gonna make it behind there to another road and check out another local park. And I merge it to another local street and you see a lot of people. Seems like they're heading to Ayala Avenue to catch the bus or the jeepney to their neighborhoods and districts. But this is like the first time that I walk around Makati and I see it crowded. The last time I came, I think it was on a Sunday, so that's why it was pretty much empty. But it's good to see the vibes over here when there's a lot of people going around. So I'm gonna try to make it towards the end of the world and this will be like a local part there for me to check out. I don't think I should make it right. And I think the street literally does like a curve. One thing I discovered is that in some of these little local parts over here, they do like weekend market. Kind of like the one that I saw in Cebu City that was really cool and I think they do like street food and stuff like that. But here's gonna be nice. I'm gonna walk around here, show you guys, and then we're gonna make it to Ayala Triangle Park, which is like the main local park of Makati right here. Over here you can see what's going on. Lots of condos, apartments, trees and vegetation. Look at some of these condos and apartment complex. It reminds me a little bit of San Juan, Puerto Rico. The only difference is that the buildings here in the Philippines are way taller than the one in Puerto Rico, but still, like, seeing the palm trees and the high-rise buildings, you know, it kind of gives me, like, that same vibe of what's going on. So let me walk a little forward. To be honest, it's not even that far from my hotel. Maybe I'm walking too fast, so I'm so used to walking a lot in New York. But this is probably, like, a piece of cake for me, but it's always good to discover a neighborhood by foot and see how the vibes change. As you saw how different it was when I started my video from where I ended right here. But then what I like about this section over here is how the sidewalks are surrounded by trees. And the good thing is that it rained a little bit so the weather cooled down. But, you know, during this season, it's still really hot, like over 100 degrees or over 40 Celsius for wherever you guys are watching from. But the rain helps out for the weather to cool down a little bit. And we got some of these beautiful local streets right here. All of them are covered with trees. And then this will be a local park here. And I think this is where they do a weekend night market right here in the corner. And they got this. Let me see if the park is open so I can walk through the park. You can see how impeccable the streets are. And another thing versus other areas in Manila, you really don't see much people jaywalking. So let me see if I can detour right here. Here I am in a little tiny park, which is really beautiful and it's surrounded by tall buildings like any other park you get around the world and pretty beautiful. The name of this park is Jamie Velasquez and it goes, it's not too big, but it goes around as you can see, because like 50, 50 meters, they could go around here. It would be better if they have like more grass and trees, but still this is what you get. And it's pretty cloudy, so I'm not sure if it's gonna rain again. So I'm trying to hurry up with the video before it starts pouring again. But yeah, this is pretty nice and organized. And then they got like a little plaza at the end. Kind of like what they got in Jersey, but in Jersey they got the gazebos. And I see a lot of pets, so I guess it's like a pet friendly park. Then like I said, they got Tim Hortons. And like I mentioned when I was filming my BGC video is that in Jersey or New York City, which is really close to Canada, they don't got too much Tim Hortons. But you come all the way here to, to the Philippines and I see Tim Hortons literally like everywhere in every developed district. So there's like tons of districts right here. Like they got BGC, Makati, they got also um, Ortigas, Greenfield, a lot of them. It's like a lot of central business district that can make up the whole Metro Manila. But now I think I'm just gonna head back to the streets and head up to the other main park over here with this Ayala tri Triangles. Probably like a couple of blocks down. Gonna check on my Google Maps. But so far I'm loving this area over here a lot. Pretty beautiful, and it's like my first time that I explored this side of Makati right here. And it just keeps going to downtown district around here. If you go to the other side of Ayala and Makati, they got 
a couple of malls around, some high-end malls, and pretty massive. And I think this street should take me to Ayala or Triangle, so I'm gonna see what the vibes are going on over there. The one thing different from New York and the Philippines is when they build some high-rise buildings, they put usually kind of looks like some bamboos in the back, scaffolding, you know, to cover up the, the streets when they're developing the tall buildings. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, streets are pretty beautiful, and like I said, they're literally covered with, tree, with trees, either palm trees. Got to tell you, one thing about tropical countries is that when it rains, it gets even more humid. I grew up in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico and it was the same vibe, but it's like when it rains, you think it cooled down, but it gets even more humid, so you start sweating more. <laughs> hey, but that's the beauty about exploring, right? But then look at this beautiful sidewalk surrounded by palm trees. It's a neighborhood, you know, pretty interesting. Then the local park should be ahead of me. So I made it to the other side of the road, and then the park should be to my right hand. So I'm gonna figure the entrance of the park and show you what's going on over here. You see how wide the streets are. This over here reminds me a little bit of Long Island City in Queens, but the Filipino version. So let me do a detour to my right. I think the Triangle Park should be over that way. Then over this area, we got some high-end hotels. Ahead of me, I see the Shangri-La. Then Magadi Avenue, I think it's this one to my left, if I'm correct. But there's also like another busy intersection. Then ahead of me should be the entrance of uh, Ayala Triangle Park, which is kind of like the main park right here in Makati. This is Makati Avenue, wow. Look how beautiful the street is, covered with vegetation, you know, the trees and all of that. And then this over here is Ayala Triangle Park. So we are gonna enter right here and check out this little urban park. And just when I'm entering the park, what do you see here? Beautiful cat, what's up cat? You okay cat? Oh, I guess he wants me to pet him. What's up kitty? Wow, okay. Guess the cat is hungry. So one thing that's normal in Southeast Asia is that everywhere you go you see cats. There's literally like another cat that I'm gonna show you in a bit. There's another cat right here. Hello kitty. This one has an owner because he has a chain. Hello, kid. Kitty, what's up? The Gucci, you like the king right here? Yeah, the other cat is just meowing right there. Oh, right, here comes another kitty. <laughs> like, I literally just entered the park and I see three cats already. And looking at this park, it reminds me a little bit of the park of uh, Kuala Lumpur where they got the Petrona Towers, you know, pretty beautiful. We even got a cat over here guarding the park. Yeah, that's a king right there, so don't mess with that cat. <laughs> but it's just, you know, pretty beautiful right here. And we got this over here. I guess it's like, I guess they do like events and stuff over here. And then you see all the nature and the trees. It's like crazy, you know, you add to all the craziness of an urban, you add to all the craziness of a city, then you end up in a little oasis like this, peaceful and quiet, surrounded by skyscrapers. You know, I'm a huge fan of urban parks. And this one over here is, is not an exception, it's beautiful. I'm telling you, wow, it's getting pretty humid. So that's one thing, like I said, you gotta deal with when you're in a tropical country. It's not too hot, but the humidity, it just makes it a little bit uncomfortable. So I think it's highly recommend that you carry a bottle of water. <laughs> and then look at this bamboos, like this trees, wow. I like the way how they preserve it over here and it decorates. Like the park, you know, it gives you the vibes of an urban park. So this might help a little bit with the weather, you know, when it gets like pretty intense and pretty hot. And there's more over that area. I think they also got like a couple of coffee shops, a couple of restaurants over there. So, you know, in the nice weather, you can come, enjoy yourself and chill in the park. And this will take you to the main entrance by Ayala Avenue in the park. But I really love how they preserve this park here, how they put the nature, how they cut the trees and everything to make it look beautiful, you know. And then I see some trees that have like some red flowers. I know growing up in Puerto Rico, we call it flamboyance. I'm not sure if it's the same structure. It might be, because we got the same type of weather. But yeah, you know, this park doesn't really, like a lot of people, they don't seem to come here, but I think it's totally worth it to come and explore. You know, it's beautiful. And, uh, even though it's not too big, there are some cool things to see. And this is the main entrance over here. It's like a ceiling and a rooftop. Oh, they got this over here. It's like a fountain. Let me check it out. 
This is cool. The last time I came, I don't think I remember seeing this. So it might be like a new structural decoration that they open up. Pretty nice. <laughs> Well, actually, the exit, because I'm exiting the park. But if you, were, if you would go in the main avenue, you would not think this is a park. It's a way out of the building, it looks like. But then you pass underneath the tunnel. But in this case, I'm exiting, so I'm back in the traffic jam of uh, Ayala Avenue. Then we got like a little fountain over here. Then we just exited the park, and we're back again while I started walking. While I started walking, Ayala Avenue. If you go this way, it will take you to Makati. But in order to cross to the other side, you gotta go in the under passage. And then you see the high rise buildings. So I crossed the other side of Ayala, and I'm probably gonna explore just a little bit. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but a little bit of the high end mall, Greenbelt. They got tons of malls here. They got SM, they got Glorieta. A couple of malls, you know, the neighborhood is big. This is just a little portion of Makati. But ahead of me should be green belt. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of fit and then party end. So here they got some street art. And then they got like the overpassage, which is pretty helpful to cross the street and avoid the rain. And here we got one of the overpasses and you hear construction going on. There's always something happening right here. It's like a different bike. And now I'm just gonna make it a little bit towards green belt, walk a little bit and then call it the end for this time. This is the outdoor area of Greenbelt. And this mall is divided by a couple of sections. I think five sections. Could be less, could be more. And then they got parts where it's indoor and they got parts where it's outdoor. That's one thing I like about the Philippines because you know it's super hot outside, but then if you want to shelter inside, get some AC, you could do it. And the outdoor area is over here, so I'm gonna walk outside and show you the patio that they got in the back. Then here's part of the outdoor area of Greenbelt, and it is like no other mall I've seen. They got water fountains like this with fishes. I don't know if I could get a close up over here. See the fishes? <laughs> so it's like they got a little, a little mini aquarium. And it keeps going all these trees, you know. One thing, look at the sign, it says watch your step because it got steps like this. And if you don't pay attention, you know, you can have a bad fall. So that's a no no when you're exploring a beautiful mall, like a high end mall like this. And they got restaurants, they got a lot of stuff going on. Keeps going mostly uh, high end restaurants. I notice they have a lot of Italian restaurants. The only thing, the pasta in the Philippines is a little bit different than the ones that you guys are used to eating. That's a little bit of a, of a sweet texture, you know. I guess they love it a little bit sweet. But it tastes good. A lot of people, they don't like it. But me, in my opinion, I like it. I'm open to trying, you know, new things. Then not only that, they even have a church in the mall. <laughs> I think this is the only country where I see they have a church in the mall. What's up, Kitty? Oh, there's another cat right here. <laughs> now here a little bit of the mass that they're giving, and it's in English. So that's pretty helpful for, you know, visitors like me that want to attend the church, Catholic. And, you know, this is a patio right here, which is beautiful. And I think this might be one of the entrance, so I'm going to head out. So it's green belt right here. I think you already visualized what a mall looks like around here. They got tons of malls in the Philippines and it's always like an adventure, but it's getting really hot and humid. So I think I'm gonna go back to my hotel and get some air conditioning and freshen up a little bit. So that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there, everybody. God bless y'all and peace.